Just last month, Colorado Springs police say they have seen seven different instances where they found card skimmers ripping off people at local gas pumps. By planting a skimmer like this or a much smaller one with Bluetooth technology on the pump, the crooks steal our card information and make their own cards. Investigators say they're able to buy other merchandise and even go back to the pumps to fill up their own vehicles. Now it's just easy to open that uh, front of the pump, stick that in there and leave. Everything's Bluetooth so they can sit half a block away and just download that information to their cell phones. Up to 2,000 names within 30 minutes. Investigators say the suspects behind the gas pump skimmers like to target smaller gas stations and place the skimmers on gas pumps when few people are around. But Detective Wayne Lambert says ripping off the card information of consumers is just the start of this scheme, taking me inside a truck CSPD recently seized that investigators say is tied to this operation. How does it smell? Just describe the smell. It smells like strong. diesel fuel. It's yeah. real strong diesel. It's evidence of a hidden compartment. So they had covered this large tank in the back with the, this plywood barrier. Once we tore and took them off, then we found the large tank. It's about a foot thick. You can see it's about five foot tall and eight feet wide. And it's even got diesel in it now. Investigators say the crooks are using our stolen card information to pay for hundreds of gallons of gas that gets pumped into hidden tanks like this in trucks they've rigged up with hoses. Inside the truck's cab, investigators say they found more evidence of cycling through cards to make fraudulent payments. So instead of carrying multiple credit cards or debit cards, now you have one fuse card that you can toggle between the different accounts and present that to a retailer to make purchases. And if someone's sitting at the pump, what, what will they be seeing? We know the inner workings now, but what are they seeing out here? They're really just seeing somebody fueling their truck. Meanwhile, hundreds of gallons of stolen fuel are going into the back of the truck. What are they really doing with this gas? You can tell they are not treating this gas in a safe manner. And investigators say this gas paid for with your stolen card information is then sold on the streets. Investigators tell me they believe there could be as many as seven different groups in the Pikes Peak region operating this same scheme, stealing our card info, then thousands of dollars in gas. In some cases, small gas stations report losing $20,000 a week as a result. If you have any information that can help investigators, you are urged to call the Colorado Springs Police Department, or you can remain anonymous by calling Crime Stoppers at 634-STOP. I'm Patrick Nelson for News 5.